I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Before I get into the video, I just want to let you all know that it's my birthday today. Yes, I turned 20 years old today. Anyways, in this video, I will be listing things I believed as a kid that are the complete opposite of true. I don't remember every single untrue thing I believed as a kid, but I'll list the ones I do remember. I hope a lot of you can relate to this video, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. First off, when I was little, there were a few words that I always pronounced wrong. For example, I said present instead of present. I also said syrup instead of syrup and pink tails instead of pigtails. I just thought that was how those words were pronounced back then, until I eventually realized how they're truly pronounced. Another thing that I believed when I was a kid was that mom and dad were my parents' first names, not just what I called them because they were my parents. I didn't know that my parents had normal first names just like any other person, but I eventually found out what my parents' first names really were because they put their first names on their Christmas stockings, and I heard other people calling them by their first names. That is when I figured out their actual first names. How old were you when your parents revealed their first names to you? Not only that, but another thing I believed back then was that only dads went to work, while moms only stayed home. That's because growing up, my mom was a stay-at-home mom while my dad always went to work. So I was used to my mom being home and my dad not. I grew up thinking it was this way in all families but I eventually realized that it's not, because when I was little, most of my teachers were female. And not only were a lot of my teachers moms too, but teaching was their job. So I realized that a lot of moms went to work too, not just dads. Speaking of that, another thing I believed when I was a kid was that teachers were school property. Back then, I thought that my teachers weren't normal people and that they just stayed in the teacher's lounge or something when school was not in session. I thought that my school owned my teachers, not knowing that my teachers had a life outside of school too. Once I started bumping into my teachers at places such as the supermarket, which was a terribly awkward time for me when I was little because I wasn't used to seeing my teachers outside of school. I realized that my teachers were still normal people and that they lived normal lives just like any other person. Another thing I believed as a kid was that all dogs were male and all cats were female. I believed this because back then I had a male dog and two female cats and I thought Dogs were the male species, while cats were the female species. That was until I eventually met some female dogs and male cats. I then realized that both dogs and cats are male and female, and that the gender of a living thing does not depend on the species. Another thing I believed was that all dogs were big and only cats were small, and that small dogs were really cats. I didn't believe that dogs could be small, but I then realized that small dogs are still dogs and that I should treat them like dogs, not cats. Another thing I believed when I was a kid was when my parents got us a hot tub, and at first, I thought the hot tub was a new, bigger bathtub. What I mean is, when my parents asked me if I wanted to go in the hot tub, I would tell them that I didn't want to take a bath. They then explained to me that the hot tub is where you relax, not take baths. After that, I loved going in the hot tub, after going swimming or just to relax. 
Another thing I believed as a kid was that if people went on roller coasters or rides that went upside down, such as roller coasters with loops, or the Ring of Fire ride at the fair, they would fall out as soon as they went upside down and get injured really badly. Because of this, I never wanted to go on any rides that went upside down when I went to the fair or an amusement park because I was afraid I would fall out and get hurt. That was until I learned that they strap you in really well for those rides to make sure you won't fall out. When I finally went on an upside down ride for the first time, I ended up enjoying it and having a lot of fun. I never fell out, not once. I realized that upside down rides are not nearly as dangerous as they look. And the last thing I believed as a kid was that boys still had their child voices even when they were teenagers and their voices didn't change until they were adults. I believe this because when I was really little, my brother wasn't at that age yet where his voice would change, but he looked a lot older to me because I was only a toddler and he was a lot taller than me. That was until he finally reached his teenage years and his voice changed. I know that there are some teenage guys who still have their child voices even into their teens, like Justin Bieber or Alex Thorne from Paw Patrol, but I am now aware that most teenage guys' voices have already changed and that boys' voices change when they are teenagers, not adults. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing my beliefs from when I was a little kid. If you liked this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to share what you believed as a kid in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye!